Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day uh, 24, yeah, of the May Legal Dairy Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's problem. Longest valid parentheses, hard. Okay, so given a string, contain just the character, mm -hmm. find the length of the longest valid parentheses sub string. Okay. Um. Yeah, I mean, I think there is, for, for this particular problem, it is just about formulating another um, set of logical things to, to test for. Um, and really, uh, it's, I wouldn't necessarily call it a case analysis as I usually would, but you can kind of maybe do a proof by, um, like proof by exhaustion. Is, is that the word? No, I don't know if that's the phrase, but basically you prove by going for every possibility, right? So they're really only, um, and some of this will just require, or at least, you know, uh, uh, has a lot of practice with similar problems, right? Um, and w w what this means is that um, first is you try to figure out what is a valid parentheses, right? Um, so I mean, ob that maybe is obvious in that, you know, in order to find the longest one, you have to first have valid ones. So then the idea here is, um, let's see, right? Let me think about this. Um, well, like how do I, I express this? I'm, I'm trying to think right now how to kind of prove, to be honest, um, it, but because the idea is kind of okay. But I think the idea that I would have is just by um, using a stack to calculate um, to calculate like basically how how um, like how, how how things match up. I, I suppose maybe that's one way to put it. And what I mean by that is that let's say you, so there were only two cases or two. Two weird cases, maybe, with your will. Because I guess the third case is just, you know, everything match up and it's okay. And, you know, there's some like, you know, uh, and, you know, that's everything matched up and that's easy, right? Or or at least, you know, the longest is just in the entire thing. And then the other thing is, basically, there the are two cases. One is basically example case one, where you have some... Uh, something that got matched up uh, but not all of it right so then now but let's say you end here that means that you're trying to figure out how far to go to um, you know how many characters you have left and that number of characters mean that that's the number of unmatched things and then of course the unmatched goes the other way as well which is basically uh, in example two where you know I mean maybe you have something like this but you may also have something like that and then now uh, this can the rest of it could be really long, for example, but everything to the left of it is, uh, you know, you know, not a longest, or it's not a possible valid one, and then, of course, from here, there, like from this idea of this discon disconnection, um, you know, it does it doesn't have to be just the lo last part; it could be somewhere in the middle as well, right? So then you have to take the longest component of all these components. Um, so I think that's basically the idea, even though I don't think I said it very well, to be honest. Uh, but the core part of this idea is, you know, using a stack. And part of using a stack is greedy. And then figure out all the invariants of this problem. So let's get started. Let's play around with it. Um, yeah. So, okay. So as we say with stack, uh, let's say we have best is equal to zero, say. Hmm. <clears throat> So I think one observation to maybe notice is that is that um, as part of the valid parentheses, the character has to be the closed parentheses, right? I'm trying to figure out how to use that in a good way. The edge case being that if I have something like this, um, even though this this right parentheses would match this one, the longest valid parentheses is actually up to here, right? So we have to figure out how to kind of, you know, be, be, just be careful about it. But uh, okay, so then for C is equal to S, 
if C is Mm. Mm. I'm trying to think of, and one thing that I may be doing is um and I'm not I'm trying to think over right now is whether I am prematurely optimizing because definitely you know, there's a stack and you can put some stuff in it, but for the most part, you know, you only have two things and on the right one, you always pop anyway. So maybe you could represent the stack using a number. Um, and then maybe, but maybe that's a premature optimization. So let's, let's ignore that for now. So then anyway, so we have these two cases. One is this and one is this, right? Um, what, what do we do? Hmm. If it's this, then we push it to the stack. Uh, which is fine. Let's see. <laughs> I think you can keep track of a few things. All right, let me let me let me give it a try. Um, I'm trying to prove in my head that this is okay, but maybe this is a little bit weird. But yeah, uh, but uh, let's say depth is equal to zero. And then maybe the current one is equal to zero, right? And then what we can do is now, um, oops, this is so weird. I keep on what auto uh, completing for me. Anyway, so here then we increase that by one, right? And here we go. Okay. If depth is greater than zero, then we can match them. Um, and that means that if, if we match, then our current one increases by two, right? Because now we add two to the longest depth. Um, and a lot of what I was doing, to be honest, if you see me pausing, is just me thinking through all these cases before writing them, to be frank. Um, so I don't know if that's a great thing, but... Um, else, if depth is zero, that means that if depth is equal to zero, then that means that this one um, chops it off. So current one is equal to zero because now you have to start over on the next one. Um, and also, and then here, that minus one, otherwise it's, this is good, right? And of course, this is the only case where um, we can improve best. So we just do best here. Okay. I don't think I did a great job of illustrating how I thought through this. Uh, but I also don't know if this is correct, to be honest. So let's see. Because um, I think what I don't, I cannot or did not show anyway is that um, how I come up with this is just really going through all the possible cases in my head. Um, and there are only really a couple of cases, like I said, like there, there's this case where you have extra one and then you have this case where, um, you know, you cut it off and you cut it off and so forth. So... You know, so then now we may, let's uh, try more cases. Say, I don't know. I'm, to be honest, right now I'm not a hundred percent confident in this one, but I think I'm okay in giving it a try. So let's give it some minute. Apparently, I've got it wrong. Oh no, I got it wrong four times before. Uh, okay, uh, like I said, I. Uh, this is why I wasn't confident about it is because you know there are a lot of silly things. Apparently the first time I tried, I had four wrong ends or three wrong answers. And last time I got it right on the first try, but this time, uh, this year, I am a little bit worse than last time. So let, let's, you know, put this in here. Um, okay. <clears throat> so this is wrong because now... Mm, that is tricky, isn't it? Huh? How do I handle this case? Because basically, two is going to be the longest one, which is either here or here. But mm, I'm also trying to do it in all of one space, which is maybe why why uh, you know I'm a little bit silly today. Uh, I think if I did it with a stack, this is probably okay. So let's maybe just do it with a stack. Um, then we can kind of you know keep track of the states, and then we can do the if statements a little bit more intuitively, right? So okay. Uh, 
let, let's. But I think this is just going through all the cases. I don't think there's anything uh, conceptually impossible per se. But yeah, maybe something like that. And then what does that look like now? Um, okay, so if length of stack is greater than zero. Uh, and again, I, I'm doing the thing where I'm just thinking through it a lot. Um, <clears throat> okay, if this is greater than zero, that's good. Otherwise, uh, well, we just start this over. So, yeah. What do we want to keep track of? Uh, man, I'm a little bit off today. Well, if this is matching a zero, what does that mean? That means that we want to find the last unmatched parentheses, right? And the last unmatched parentheses is going to be the thing that's on top of the stack or it goes all the way to the left, which is fine, right? Um, but then the, the other thing that we have to keep track of is that the last brick, right? Because there's two cases, right? It's this and this, and it, we have to be mixed. And I kind of focus on this one on my test cases, but I, I, I don't know. I don't know why I didn't keep track of this one. I should have tested it. I mean, I, uh, yeah. Um, okay, so man, that means that the top of the stack is the last known thing. Um, so, okay, maybe we just have to keep track of the, uh, I, 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 this feels a little yucky, but if it works, then maybe that's okay, right? Uh, last, um, Yeah, last is equal to none, right? Say, so, otherwise this this means that last is equal to i, meaning that this is the last good thing. Um, so then, it, otherwise we keep track of. Um, so the current one is equal to, well, first we pop. And then the one that before that is the one that, um, so here now after we pop, if the length of stack is equal to zero, then we use last. So actually let's use last as zero maybe. Yeah. Um, so this then one is equal to I minus last, else one is equal to I minus stack of negative one and then out best is you go to max of best and one i feel like there's a lot of potential off by ones here so let's give it a spin for a quick second um hmm, do i feel good about this one not really to be honest um then the reason is because i'm just feeling a little bit shaky about the off by ones because um i'm i didn't in my mind i didn't define exactly clearly um, the inclusive or exclusiveness. And I think, that, yeah, having this as the last thing is actually eh, lucky in a, in a sense that, um, yeah, actually let's make this negative one. And then now last is equal to I as in, this is the one that you don't include. And then it's this plus one and this plus one. I think this maybe is a little bit more precise. Um, we'll see if that's true. Nope. Uh, oh, because I also includes itself, so maybe that's why. Hmm. But yeah, as you can see, changing this apparently didn't change my inputs. So, I don't know if that works, but... So my test cases are weak, is what I mean. So that's why I, I was sketchy about it. Um, and I think the case that mine doesn't have is just something like this. Okay, and that looks good. Um, so let's give it a quick submit again. A little bit YOLO. Okay, so this one's a little bit better. 784-day streak. A little bit embarrassed, to be honest. Linear time, linear space. Hopefully it makes sense why. Um, hmm. 
let's see what past Larry did because I'm curious. Um, but I can do an old one space as well. Um, Mm, don't know. I, I don't have an immediate answer to that one. Uh, let's see what I did last year. Uh, okay, last okay, last year apparently I did what I did this time. I wonder how I came up with that one because I actually missed. Maybe I just w tested that case and then realized that it didn't work. Because I just forgot about. Because if I tested this case uh, or this one rather, I would have figured it out. But I just it's a little bit. Um, you know, sometimes you missed it uh, in here as well. Uh, what did I do the first time? Oh, I did the same thing with. No, that's not true. What did I do the that? Oh, I just see the last time. It, eh, this is a very funky thing I'm doing. I don't know. So I try to fix it. Still try to fix it, I guess. Hmm. It's very funky. But I, in the end, I did it the same way, I suppose. Um, but in a more weird way. Okay. I mean, um. Mm. <sighs> Yeah, I mean, I think that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's all I have. Stay good, stay healthy, take good mental health. I'll see you later and take care. Bye-bye.